hi what's up guys going today's video i'm going to show you how to create you know a uh, two background you know in corridor s7 and uh, come up with something great as jota in corridor 20 uh in corridor x7 rather so without further ado let's let's step into it so right now i have the you know, picture of a governor you know and uh, i have a test in which i'm gonna incorporate with the pictures you know alongside with the background that we are going to be creating in corridor s7 so let's step on it so right now what you're gonna do next what you're gonna do uh, up at first is to search for uh right from here click on uh a5 you know there you have that so let's head over to uh rectangle to double click automatically you're gonna have that snapped you know exactly the size of the drawing page right there you know you're gonna have it snapped into it so right now we have it right there so let's create a background first before we infuse our test and picture you know into the background so follow me as i do that so right now head over to uh you know uh ellipse tool so let's create a perfect ellipse tool just like so so as this right now let's you know point our mouse to the tip of the you know uh object just like so then you hold hold on uh shift key and keyboard then you drag when you get your destination you right click automatically copy paste you have this so as this right now hit on ctrl r you know for a repeat automatically you're gonna have it you know uh duplicate you know just like so good so right now as this right now let's select the whole thing just like so apply white at first so let's just pull it outside then reduce it a bit so right now as it is we have the last object at the top of it of the objects that you created right here as we have applied you know white color into the object so what we need to do right now is to click outside and select the hopper object so right now what you need to do is to hold on shift key then you tap on pick down a keyboard continuously until you have it you know right behind all of the objects you know at the back so right now the second to the last which is the uh, top one right now is uh, this so what we need to do is to uh, hold shift key as well then you tap on page down till you have it you know uh, to the down uh, part so so there you have this so right now the uh, uh, first uh, right now hold shift key control page down there you have it all at the back likewise let's continue like that then let's go ahead you know there you have it you know at the behind uh the smallest object right there so right now what we need to do right now is to go ahead to the uh picture so what we're gonna do right now is to head over uh, to color hydropo to click on that then you uh you know uh sample the color right there then you point on the uh object so right now what you're gonna do is to uh go back to uh what's it called Int interactive field tool drag on that then the bottom side of it let's make it a darker purple which is this good there you have that so what you're gonna be doing now is to head over and just you know right drag uh the one that you colored on top of the one that you not colored you know then you release your mouse you know as a menu pops out then you choose uh copy all properties there you have that so likewise the harder i quite the order there you have it all painted just like so so right now the main thing right now is to achieve the color a little bit so we can have the uh intercept with each other so that the color won't try with each other so there you have this click this then rotate that to have it you know shaded just like so good there, there we have all of that colored so set outline to none there you have this good so let's group it all up then let's drag 
that are top of the main background then release your mouse then copy select copy of properties properties there you have this so right now what we're gonna be doing is to power clip this into the object go ahead to object then you locate you know a power clip then select the place inside frame automatically you're gonna have an indication on how row pops out asking you what next so what you need to do next is to just select the object in which you want to power clip this into automatically power clip then old alternative alternative on your keyboard then you select the object then adjust to pull it up just like so there you have this good so right now what you're gonna be doing next let's reduce that a little bit then let's screw it hmm, good there you have that so what you're gonna do is to just power clip this object go ahead to object then you locate you know a power clip then select place inside frame so indication pops out asking what next then select the object automatically you're gonna have it you know power clipped into place so right now we're gonna do as this right now to perform the task you just have to get right inside the object so right now right click then go ahead and uh, select edit power clip so automatically it takes you in there takes you in there what you need that to do now is to uh, go ahead and uh, go ahead to the object then you locate power clip then place inside frame select the frame automatically uh, the image uh, power clipped into the uh, object that is selected so right now you're gonna do is to hold on alt key select the image release your alt key then reduce the picture to fit in into the page then you make it a bit bigger there you have that good <coughs> so right now what you're gonna be doing now before you go further let's create you know the second background so right now extract this put that aside so right now the next step is to go over to uh, polygon let's select that then draw a object like this with the help of your control key down then you drag to have this good so right now as it is right now if you want to change the angle to 10 or 90 you know it all depends on you you can decide to make it you know seven it's okay you're gonna have that but what we need right now is six it's okay there you have this good so as it's right now what you're gonna be doing is to go ahead and just you know drag out just like so when you get to your destination you right click then you hit ctrl half for a repeat that you have this good so right now what you're gonna be doing is to right drag this on top of the object then release your mouse you're gonna have some options so what you're gonna do right right next is to select copy all properties there you have this so select the top one which you call right now then you hold ctrl key on your keyboard then you tap on page down you're gonna have it right behind all of it all so as this right now right drag that as well you're gonna have the first one colored as well then you control page down there you have that so continually just like so so then what you're gonna be doing is to just send this back as well then change the direction of that to the other side control pay down so let's mirror this as well we're gonna have that without wasting most of our time what we, all we needed to do is to just drag this inward then you're gonna have this just like so so change the uh, uh the upper one to white then what we needed to do now is to reduce the last you know object then group the whole thing together then drag to the main uh what's it called object then we have that part clip so let's reduce that a little bit 
there you have uh, the object positioned so right now what we're going to be doing is to extract the image of the governor then you put a clip into the uh the present design background then you have that so right click then locate you know edit per clip it takes you right inside then ungroup the objects then per clip this image right drag that on top of the white background then we have options asking what next then you choose per clip which one for that so right now it activated hold out key select the image then release the out key and adjust just like so then what you're going to do is to right click then opt out of that finish editing there you have that so right now what you're going to be doing is to bring in the test so change the wines then go ahead and let's use a futura B MD BT. So right now you're gonna do is to hit Ctrl K to break that into pieces. Then let's lay emphasis on rotating me to bold that all up. Then bold it all up. Then you locate your shape to reduce the uh, what's it called the uh, font just like so. What you need to do is to select the whole thing. Then you hit on Ctrl Shift F3. Then you have the option then let's make it uppercase it's okay so right now let's reduce that then make the accredo a bit bigger move it closer so right now what you're gonna be doing is to la emphasis on the 67 body it all up then go ahead to your shape to close the tracking just like so there you have this then let's position this right to the extreme end of the of the whole image so there you have that let's put the hats very close to the tip of the seas then let's move it closer to the name there you have this so it uses a little bit so that we can have some kind of alignment right there then let's make the sister seven a bit bigger there you have that position this closer there you have all of these you know aligned so select the whole thing reduce to have some kind of accurate you know positioning right there so as this right now let's create you know uh, an object beneath all of this then let's have it colored good set that light to none there you have that position so well so right now we have uh, the front uh, cover designed already then copy this to the other option there we have the boat cover design so right now what you're gonna be doing is to head over to the tip of the object then you flip to the other side so right now what you're gonna do is to delete the force which have the picture of the governor then let's go ahead and just uh, delete that there we have the back of the jota position so well likewise this other one flip to the other side delete the white area there we have uh, you know hard design you know package well so right now we have the whole thing designed so well we are right now we come to the end of the uh, tutorial see what we have here we have two options with different you know background created so don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can benefit from what we have shared so far you know as i always say in my say in my channel see you in the next video bye for now